Hi everyone, here's a quick tutorial on how to make a fully procedural 360 degrees night sky. Um, I just opened Max and all I did was uh, set up V-Ray as my render engine. Um, no GI of course, I'll be using, I'll be rendering in bucket mode. Uh, let's set up a full HD resolution for now. Also your units not very relevant uh, it depends on the scene you're working on but for now I'll be working in meters um, and let's start let's start creating our, our texture so I'll start by creating a geosphere fairly big let's say something like 2000 a radius of 2000 let's increase our segments to 8 I'm gonna make sure the geosphere is at the origin also apply a normal modifier to invert the normals go into top view disabling the grid and in top view I'm just going to create a physical camera which we'll use for our renders something like that um, I'm going to adjust the layout of the viewports and also have my make sure my scene explorer is just a preference personal preference in terms of workflow so let's go into camera uh, activate uh, the save frame shift F and we're ready to start working on the texture so right now I'm just going to create a very light material and a cellular map which I'll be connecting to the light color and applying the very light material to the sphere um, don't really need to see uh, the sphere so I'm just going to turn it into a box display as box and adjust our cellular map. We'll be working in the object XYZ um, coordinates just so we don't have any seams so this will be totally fun completely functional no seams, no, no breaks on the texture. Um, adjust the size, I'm going to start with uh, 0 0.1 and all you have to do is basically reduce the, the spread let's say maybe too much 0 0.05 uh, 0 0.5 um, and let's see what that gets us um, I'm going to lock the render to the camera view hit render as you can see we already have a nice uh, starry pattern uh, with just this this single cellular map what we'll be doing is creating uh, different uh, cellular maps and combining them with other procedural maps um, using other procedural maps as masks to do the combinations between them um, so the first step will be to create um, a, uh, a cellular texture of dense high density uh, small stars and then a second cellular map of low density uh, small stars uh, let's do that so all we need to do is uh, make sure this one this one can be the low density so stars low dense and small duplicate this one should be a little less dense so let's reduce the spread to 0 0.003 this one should be denser so let's increase it to 8 and this one will be the high density stars high and small let's see what this one gets us yeah um, higher density same size and this one lower density also same size at 100% we already get some nice variations in the um, in the value of the stars you can see this one is fairly bright this one it's very very soft so 
this already gives us a, a, a very nice variation. Um, so let's mix them together. Maps, standard, let's apply a use uh, basic mix between, between the high density and low, de low density cellular maps. Let's render. Oh, sorry. You still need to <laughs> mix mix them. Let's create a uh, pearl and marble, which is a nice procedural to create this kind of uh, filament patterns. It's quite organic and complex. So let's just take the saturation and maybe increase the, um, the value a bit. You don't need to go into black and white, pure black or pure white, because the, the algorithm of, of the Pearl and Marble will do that. We will have uh, blacks and whites. You can go a bit more to the extremes. Um, and let's see about the scale. We will need this to be fairly big. Let's start with 400. Yeah, we get some nice patterns already. Maybe even bigger. 500. Yeah, I think this this is a nice uh, solution for the the ma the mixing we we want to do um as you can as you can see by now this map isn't really completely white i don't know if you can see the value oh, it's completely white great perfect uh, sometimes it isn't we would just need to make some slight adjustments with uh, an output an output or a color correction uh, so this is working fine as it is let's see uh, mixing those two together uh, right now we have them uh, inverse which means that the filament structures of the problem marble is um, only visible um, by the low density um, stars let's invert let's swap these two so we have we have um, a different kind of solution right now it's kind of soft um, the transition between uh, one and the other I think it's probably because our Perlin map isn't um, isn't really going into completely white let's reduce the size to five and as you can see uh, mo some, most of the texture isn't going into pure white so it's it's usually it usually doesn't go into pure white so you need to add something like um, an output and just bring it up a bit with the color map it's basically the same as uh, Photoshop curves just emphasizing a bit the contrast and giving a bit more dominance for the um, the white values and I think this should give us a better result yeah right now we have uh, it's it's less no forgot to adjust the size yeah this is it so right now we can clearly distinguish between the the areas where there's a low density of stars and the areas where there's high density of stars maybe reduce the difference between the two maybe this uh, this area could be a bit more dense um, let's see if we can work that out it's fairly easy all you have to do is increase the spread on this version on the low density let's go into four yeah something like that so we get uh, the most important thing w was uh, to to get this kind of texture uh, secondary texture to the night sky so it doesn't become too uniform you can work on the kind of mask you you use to get um, this kind of result this uh, to get this night sky if you don't like it or, or if you would prefer it to be even bigger let's see this gives us yeah it's also a nice solution I like it um, so I think this is a good a good start let's um, 
We're, it's basically done. All we need, to, all I'm going to do is add another layer of stars, but stars that would be closer, so bigger in terms of um, in terms of perception. Let's see. Let's use another cellular. We'll make it big, like five, big spread let's let's keep it as it is let's check this one out needs to be big and more sp less spread mm, let's say 20 yeah something like this so bigger you can even go bigger uh, like just slightly 25 Yeah, I think this will work. Maps, standard, composite. Let's mix these two with a composite. I need to create a new layer in the composite, same as Photoshop exactly, or any other um, applica any uh, compositing application. So let's put this in addition. Um, connect these two. So right now we have a fairly complex um, sky. You can go and create even more and more um, layers of uh, different kinds of stars, uh, work with the size of the stars and not just the spread. Um, right now, I'm, I think I might go back to the first size or even the 400 has a yeah uh, I think I think it's best so that's basically it. you you get some really nice um, with a bit of work you can get some really nice textures uh, night sky textures about this and the wonderful thing is that you can render the um, an HDRI for instance you can render a three make a 360 degrees render and use this to um, to apply on other scenes and um, that's it. Hope you liked it. See you in the next one.